the the time zone here brings me to seeing the sunrise mm -hmm. um and um i just touch the plants and i give my attention to them mm. And this is what happened when I put my hands on the plant this morning. And it's, it just comes out, it's just coming out. And, um, and I, it's, something's different. It's, it's like cleanse, it's like clearing, it's like moving and, and, just coming apart and 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 uh, i don't i'm not feeling like this is happening to me it's yeah. not that kind of a feeling it's it's yeah. just moving yeah yeah, yeah. You're cracking and up. and it's all the conditioning all the identification it's all so I don't want to put words on it that aren't necessary. It's all so unnecessary. It's it's all it's also unsub insubstantial, unsubstantial. It's all so not. Not me, not, not who I am. Right, that's all that. And what about what is? What's happening when you, when you put your hands on the plants and you start to crack open, what is being recognized? You're recognizing that all of that is, is insubstantial. Uh, what is opening? There's a revelation happening. There's a revealing. I, I want to answer with not from concept or cognizance I, I want to answer for what it feels like yeah okay. hmm. it's just everything is just i don't have anything i don't the the, the frame of reference the point of view the frame of reference from within this human system is like dissolving. And there's a lot of um, there's sorrow, there's sadness. Um, there's remorse for 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 being this fabricated self. And I, I, what, what I'm feeling is this, this emptiness, stillness, emptiness, with no um, defined, no definition, no defined. Right. And, and what is it about the plants that are? I need to go right to my heart. I don't know. You know, there's a heart connection with these plants. Right. With right. right. It, the, it, is there a resonance? Is there a, a recognition of what what is emanating the plants? Yes. Right. Right. Yes. 
Right. And what is recognizing that? It's the life force itself is recognizing it. The, yes. The... yes, the life force itself is recognizing itself, which is breaking down the identity, the, the egoic identity, the separate self, and yet it is revealing itself to itself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and this is without LSD, no LSD, which means that it doesn't shoot up and fall down. You know, it's it's not an experience that that can uh, be forgotten or be lost. There's a, there's a. Uh some fear that uh, with this sense of, you know, for, for a long time, I have felt my sense of self. It's an energetic, palpable feeling. And that feeling is is a culmination of the conditioning. So relating to myself feels a certain way. And the way it feels is because of the conditioning. Because I'm feeling through that. I'm, I, you know, it's That's like it. walking is, around with a filter on. Yeah, if I ask you, what is the source of the conditioning, right? So you can see that it's all one. It's all one. And that's why I was saying beforehand, I said, the seeker is the sort because the conditioning taking on the identification, like the ego taking on the identification and then becomes the seeking starts right there. Right. And so this energy is starting to seek for the truth, but it origin its origin is what it's seeking for. Yeah, but yeah. That's, that's right now that's conceptual to me. Okay. I, mean, I, I believe it's not that I believe you. I, believe, I, I know what, I, yeah, I, I'm not believing. I know what you're saying is true. My point to say that right now is to point to the fact that it's all one. It's not separate. Yeah. Um, I'm grieving for yeah the loss of the separate the separateness yeah there is a grieving that happens you know i cried for a year out of one eye a, a tear was dripping out of one eye for a year it wouldn't stop every day Whenever I tried to speak about this, or you know, it was just this dripping from one eye. Yeah. Because it is all mixed up. It is the recognition is there, and the the separate identity is. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't disappear. It's just being seen through. And there is a grieving. has been so much um, relating to the world through my mind and therefore trying to figure things out. Yeah. Who am I? What's my place in the world? What do I do about this? <clears throat> and all of that, 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 that energy of that is part of what I'm grieving. That no, <clears throat> not only this, the sadness that it's been there in place and, def and essentially has run my life, but that now that it's, it's, it, it feels like it's just,
you know, it's like ice on a lake that's melting. It's just going away. And I have no clue about what's, what remains in terms of how I relate, how I relate. I completely understand. It's beautiful. It's beautiful because you don't have to have a clue. You know, it's just a, a step each moment. Yeah. And the world will keep on trying to convince you that you are this person. I'm standing here. You know, I'm standing here and it's like, I know what conditioning is. I have felt it all my life. I'm standing here. Hmm. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love it. That's what this earth is calling for. Man yeah. to stand in who he really is. That's the only answer to all this bullshit that's happening. It's the only answer. Because when man stands in who he really is, things will change on every level. And I've been so confused about my masculinity, my, my being a man, like, because I'm confused because I took on the conditioning and never really um, acknowledge and express what that masculine force is inside me. Mm. And with the sun coming up this morning, like that's it, that's what, that's it. Mm. The sun standing up and shining every it, morning. Yeah. On everything, and it doesn't. On everything, on everyone, on everything, it's just pure radiance, mm -hmm. life force. Mm -hmm. And and that's what I feel here in my heart. And I guess that's all I need. This makes a whole, a lifetime worth it you know <laughs> and sometimes to walk this way and stand in this can be so challenged and so difficult that there's a there's so often a going back to sleep a compromising and going in the with collective conditioned ways and that's life will call you keep on calling you you know to call you to 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 offer what are you gonna be true to now you know yeah and that's good because that that will show me how to express this truth yeah yeah, yeah. and the the compassionate release of the conditioning i know is affecting and it's not just for me, family, all the conditioning of yeah. family, present, past, exactly. ancestors, the whole yeah. human collective yeah. consciousness. Yes, yes, yes. And that's the that's what's called, like you said, that's what's being called for, and that's and that's what's happening. Yes. No matter what it looks like out there, yeah. that's what's happening. It's yes. it's the breaking down the dissolving the shifting of all this stuff we call conditioning and leaving the just the pure light and love that is always yes yes as you just said beautifully all of the past and all of the future is landing in this moment 
this is how it's landing in your system and as as you walk and as you step it is like the all of what couldn't resolve in all through the ancestral line is all undone within that because it cannot be repeated in the way that it's been carried down the ages down through generations and it is in each one of us how we burst out of that and say fucking no 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 i'm walking my truth and that ends that ancestral line of the repetitive and it begins a whole new walking way and that is on a smaller scale if this little little body mind is a micro it's what is needed on on each one for the macro of our humanity to make the change that's being called for